see that they're going to be distributing um, evidently their 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 own enterprise version of Apache Hadoop. Is that right? Am I yep, reading that, that correctly? They're, they're announcing um, the distribution for Hadoop on the Green Plum appliance, and uh, this is a big game-changing statement for EMC. Obviously, Dave, we've been following Hadoop for a long time, and we're close to uh, the folks at Cloudera in Palo Alto. Uh, but really, this is a fundamental direction change for EMC in the sense that EMC is validating the audience of the Hadoop community, and it's an entry point into the marketplace. I really don't think they have a lot, really right now, not, not a lot of meat on the bone, EMC does. I think they're they're just getting into it. Obviously, Green Plum has a very high quality group of people over there, engineering-wise. I spoke with Luke Londrigan last night, and uh, he told me, expect a lot of stuff to come, come from Green Plum uh, in, in the form of technology, and they think they have a good story to tell there. Uh, the fact of the matter is, Cloudera is number one in the Hadoop business. They are the market leader, and EMC is way behind. Um, there's no doubt about that. But this is a long, long journey. So my, my angle on this, and as reflected in our editorial on SiliconAngle.com, uh, and your research, which I agree with, is that this has to become about innovation. Cloudera and Hadoop and all the movement around Hadoop is about innovation. It's that sandbox, and so EMC has to play nicely uh, in that sandbox, and I think the press is going to react. We heard some of the analysts uh, you know, kind of not getting it, saying, oh, you, is, this, is this going to be competing against Cloudera? I don't think so. I think EMC has got a partnering business model. Pat Gelsinger understands ecosystems. And I think ultimately it's the beginning of what could be a great ecosystem. So yes, I guess it looks like they're competing with Cloudera. Um, but if, well, this are. Become, if this becomes a holy okay. war, we yeah. will see massive fragmentation. So I think if EMC can do it properly, it's a huge payoff, big bet, and that's a good move for EMC. If they fork the community, big problems. Well, innovation, one of the things, innovation will be stifled and uh, customers will not have value. Well, one of the things you're going to hear in EMC's messaging, I'm sure, is making it enterprise ready. And as we're hearing the same thing with enterprise apps in the cloud, and can you make enterprise apps mission critical? So that brings us to Rick Walsworth. Rick, welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, Rick, my nice colleague John you. Furrier. Uh, Rick is the director of product marketing uh, for the uh, EMC Infrastructure Management Group, and uh, and there's a they got some cool products in there, in particular Recover Point, and uh, which is uh, a, a, a relatively new system. I mean, it's it's been around you know, through XM acquisitions, but you guys have hardened been hardening this capability. But but before we get into that, I mean, I want to talk a little bit about. Um, enterprise apps coming to the cloud. We're seeing this amazing growth of cloud. CIOs are concerned about security. CEOs want them to get to the cloud, get to the cloud, get to the cloud as fast as possible. Um, and so their response has been to virtualize. And then of course, then they're faced with, all right, well how do I make these applications, these enterprise applications, SAP and Oracle and Microsoft, how do I make them enterprise ready? You guys have some experience there. So maybe talk about that a little bit to move applications into the cloud, the expectation is, 